Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to live stream on Instagram using OBS on your Windows PC. So the first thing we're going to have to do is download a few files and programs to make this work. All of them are going to be located in the description, but I'm going to show you how to get them here. The first one we're going to want to download is the PHP. So go ahead, copy that. I'll bring you to this page here. Now, you need to know if you're running a 32 or 64 bit version of Windows. This is very important. To check that, you're going to right click the Windows icon and you're going to click on System. Right here, it will say System Type 64 bit operating system. Now, you'll notice there's 64 bit non thread safe and thread safe. Safe. Go with safe. Now, if you have the 32 bit version, you're going to want to get the x86 thread safe. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to go ahead and download Composer, which is the second link here. Brings you here. Click uh, Download and Run Composer Setup. The final one that we want to download is the Instagram Live API. That will bring you to this GitHub page. Go ahead and click on the clone or download button. Download it as a zip folder. One more file you're going to need to download is the CA certificate. So go ahead. It's just a direct download. And there you go. Now once you have them all downloaded in the folder here, go ahead and extract the PHP folder and the Instagram Live folder so that you have two folders like this. All right, once you have all your files here, go ahead and open the PHP folder. Scroll down to the bottom, go ahead and run the PHP-Windows application. And then go ahead and run this. We just wanna make sure that the uh, PHP shell itself pops up. Once we know that that's good, we've gotta move one more file. You're gonna take the CA certificate that we downloaded you can cut or copy. And you're going to go into the PHP folder, into Extras, SSL, and you're going to post it right next to the Open SSL configuration file. You're just going to leave that there. That's all that needs to be done. Next, we're going to go ahead and edit the PHP.ini file. So that's the little uh, setting wheel looking thing down here. Go ahead and open it with a notepad. You can control F. Minimize that. Control F for curl. Now I've already done this, but you just want to remove the little semicolon next to the extension curl, the extension GD2, and the extension EXIF. So just delete the little things next to them. Then go ahead and find next until you get down to this area right here. So where it says curl.ca info, right now you can see it's voided out. We're going to activate that. Equals space, quotation, and you are going to paste the path that you put that file into. So extras, SSL, copy. Again, we're going to paste it right in those quotation marks. Remove the semicolon from there. And make sure to also then add cacert.pem. You can go ahead and save that. Go ahead and close it. Now we can get to the fun stuff. Go ahead and open up a command prompt. Make sure to do so with administrator privileges. Run as administrator. We need to install Composer. So go ahead and double click Composer. 
click on next. You're just going to go ahead and browse to where you saved the PHP. Go ahead and click next. Click on next. And install. And it's as easy as that. Now we have PHP and Composer installed. Now we can run the Instagram API that we also downloaded earlier. So now go ahead with this command prompt. You're going to type in this command, cd, which is telling it where you want it to look. And you're going to paste the location of the Instagram Live PHP folder that we downloaded earlier. So I'll do this again. Go ahead and type cd, telling it where it goes and the folder that we downloaded, the Instagram Live PHP. Not the PHP software itself, but the Instagram Live PHP. Now it's looking in that folder. We're gonna go ahead and run this command here. And this is gonna take a minute. It's gonna run through a whole bunch of crazy things. So mine says nothing to install or update because I've already installed it. Uh, but yours is just going to go through some setup. You shouldn't have to do anything, um, and it should complete successfully. So the last thing that we have to do is edit the configuration file. Now, I created an example, so I don't show you my username and password, but we're going to open this up with Notepad, and you have to put your Instagram username in the username field and the password in the password field. Go ahead and then save your username and password in there. So in your OBS settings, you need to make sure that your... Resolution is set to 720 by 1280 and only 30 FPS per second. If you have higher, it's not going to work correctly on Instagram. You're going to run into some troubles. Go ahead, pull your command prompt window back up. Now, before we put the magic code in to go live, there's a couple things I want to tell you. As soon as you paste this, you will log into Instagram and you will be live. Do not interrupt your Instagram session. So what I mean by that is do not log into your Instagram account on a, another computer, on a cell phone. I would make sure all of your apps are closed because if you do log into it, it's going to immediately disconnect the live stream. If you want to see the chat, you will have to log into another account that follows you. And as soon as you go live, you'll be able to join in. You will not be able to chat as yourself though, unfortunately. So once you type in this code, it's going to spit out your stream key and the URL that you have to stream to for Instagram. That's what you put into OBS. That's going to allow you to take your OBS and your Windows screen and send it to Instagram. Now you have to keep the command window open because when you're done live streaming, you actually have to type in stop, S-T-O-P, enter. You have to do that to end your live stream. If you don't, Instagram will think that you are live until I guess you log in on a, another device. Now the final thing I want to share is as soon as you press this, you are live on Instagram. Meaning, as soon as you press this, your followers are going to get an alert saying that you are live. They're going to open it up and it is going to be a black screen until you take the information that this gives you and put it in OBS and start streaming with OBS. So you have to be really quick about it because you don't want a bunch of people to come in, see a black screen and leave before your content starts. So with all the warnings out of the way, we're going to go live. So type in the code. It's going to load it up. It's going to say that it's logging you in. Cross your fingers. Creating live stream. Now you see it's given us the live upload URL. So you're going to take that into your OBS, go to stream, custom streaming server, type the URL in. Then we're going to go to the stream key. And apply. And that's it. Now you would press start streaming. 
and you are technically streaming to Instagram. There you go, you are live on Instagram, just like that. Now it's gonna look real weird. There you go, you are live on Instagram, oh. just like that. Oh! Yeah. All right, we're gonna end that stream though. And now again, it's important to type stop in here to let Instagram know, and it'll ask you if you wanna archive your stream. In this case, I don't want to. So it's gonna, so it's gonna wrap up and it's gonna exit and we're done. We just live streamed to Instagram from OBS. Uh, if you guys have any questions, if you run into any issues, uh, post down in the comments. I'll be happy to try and help as best I can. I have to give all the credit to the developers that worked so hard, both on the Instagram API itself and uh, Jay Roy then for picking up the uh, side project of making the live stream function a little bit more user friendly. Um, so I will be posting links to how you can support the developers that made this possible. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, I'm also a Fortnite streamer, and uh, I'll be making videos to provide value in any way that I can. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and hope you have a nice night.